knock it off. Do you know what happened? Something really weird happened just before I came out to do the show. This really happened. I went to put on my pants. That wasn't the weird part, although... Could be, could be weird. Well, you no, know, I, I put on, I was going to put on my pants. I was in, the, they have a little changing area backstage. I wouldn't call it a, a dressing room, more just kind of a closet. <laughs> so what you're saying, Craig, is you came out of the closet? That's a different story. <laughs> what I'm saying is, I, I, I put on my pants and I, I was pulling them up. You know how you do? Y yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Giant cockroach runs out of my pants and across the floor. <laughs> Luckily, I made the brave sound of. Ah! <laughs> I mean, I didn't know I had that amount of girliness in me. I was like, ah! Even even the roach stopped for a minute. And was like, seriously? <laughs> it was big though. It was huge. It was shiny and and sleek at the back. And I was like, oh. What? And it kind of like looked at me and then it went under the, there's a kind of wardrobe, I wouldn't call it a wardrobe more, it's just a kind of like filing cabinet, but it, it was huge, it went on, and you know how big it was? It went underneath and I heard a car start. <laughs> <laughs> That's how big a roach yeah. was, it was huge. Yeah. Dude, I didn't know there were roaches in CBS, I thought that, you know, oh, the creepiness was just me. They're everywhere, man. Yeah, oh, it was. But what do they eat in my pants? <laughs> when I'm not in them. But here's the weird thing. No, I keep having this weird feeling that there's a roach in my pants somewhere. I'm like, oh, and it's freaking me out. And then I just noticed. I don't know if you can see this. Just before I come out, look, I look. It's eating a hole in my pants. Oh, God. There's a roach is eating my pants. A giant bug is eating my pants. <laughs> anyway, I won't let it affect my performance. <laughs> It'll still be crap. Are you creep? Are you creeping that camera up in the hope that nobody will notice? Is that what you're doing? It's like, I'll oh, just slowly move the camera back to where it was, and no one. Will... It's like they're trying to mess with our minds, man. Come on, man. <laughs> I've got a feeling that bug is watching me on a TV right now. <laughs> well, seriously, I scared this guy at work today and he was like, Oh! <laughs> mm, gotta get the car looked at as well. There's something wrong with it. He's drinking a little roach beer. Yeah, with his little... How many legs of roaches got? Couple. <laughs> Th thanks, guy in the front row. <laughs> yeah, luckily there's an insect guy in the front row that went... <laughs> Unless it was the roach waving. <laughs> Maybe the roach is in this room. <laughs> I think it felt to just move. <laughs> round the back. R round the back? Of my pants. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was something else. <laughs> Phew. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm kind of freaked out. I found a roach in my pants. It's not... Look, I'm traumatized. I don't have... I'm not butch. I'm a girly man in show business. And when I see giant insects, I'm like, oh! We're going to work through this tonight. We're going to work through this. All right, then. Stick around. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thanks, everybody. Thanks. That's great. That's enough. That's great. Well done. That's great. Okay. All right. Thank. That's enough. Please sit down and relax, everybody. That's enough. Sarcastic. Now sit down. <laughs> sit down, everybody. There you go. That's fine. Please relax. You'll get your money. <laughs> My goodness, have you ever heard an audience this good? They're yes. fantastic. They're worked yeah, up, man. They, they are so excited. I can't bear to disappoint you. <laughs> but I will. I won't disappoint you, though. I will come over and I will touch you. <laughs> Go on, if you're at home on your own, push yourself against the screen. Go on. Go on. You two ladies, do it. Come on. Does that excite you? I'm creeping myself out a little bit here. Yeah. I wish I had skin. <laughs> it's a great day for America. Yeah, it is. It is a great, I tell you, it is. It is also a great day for the city of New York. They had their mayoral primary. It was today. Congratulations, not Anthony Weiner. <laughs> Mr. Weiner did not give up easily, though he spent the whole day polling. Then he started thinking about the election. You see what I did? <laughs> uh, yeah. See what I did? Yeah, yeah. There you are. It's your late night joke right there. <laughs> roll up, roll up. Here comes a middle-aged white guy with the same old crap. <laughs> I've said too much. Yeah, you have, yeah. You know the United Nations unveiled their list of happiest places on Earth? Doesn't, it, doesn't the United Nations have stuff to do? <laughs> Isn't, aren't things a little bit tense right now? You go, what we have to do today is get out the... I, I don't know what accent this yeah. is, but it's, a, yeah. it's an accent from all over the world. Right, right. Let's put out a list of the happiest places on Earth. Don't we have other stuff to do? Oh, we'll get to it. Now, the big controversy, of course, is that the list of happiest places on Earth does not include Disneyland. I know, Goofy is pissed. He's like, well, I'm gonna bomb Syria. <laughs> well, maybe, let's see what Putin says. I might. Oh boy, let's go to Putin's. <laughs> Yeah, big announcement today from Apple, of course. Whenever uh, uh, you know, there's an Apple announcement, the world stops. Anthony Weiner puts down his penis. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'll do the, the action for that again. Anthony Weiner puts down his penis. <laughs> Miley stops twerking. <laughs> Lamar puts down the crack pipe. Everybody stops. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, Umi! Umi! I'm the one! You bastards! That's right! The poor innocent comedian who's only trying to earn a dollar. How dare you. How dare you indeed. My only friend is a gay appliance. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, this new arm's looking a little bit Nazi. Yeah, Be yeah. careful, man. Do it again. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I, we have to have that looked at, I think. Yeah, yeah maybe but... make it a little cheerier. Hey, everybody. Yeah, 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 like yeah. that. Yeah. Anyway, the big news from Apple, the announcement everyone's been waiting for, iPhones will now be available in different colors. <laughs> wow. This is a very easily pleased audience, and I... That's great, because that's just the kind I need. <laughs> The iPhone uh, 5S will be available in grey, silver and gold, but not black. The black one's been discontinued. That was requested by Paula Dean. But the, uh... <laughs> oh, oh, yeah! Ooh, me! Ooh, me! That's right! <laughs> yeah. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh, me, I'm the one that said it, allegedly. <laughs> Anyway, Apple's actually coming out with two new phones. There's the 5S and the 5C. Now, the 5C is only going to cost about 99 bucks, uh, and it's cheaper than the others because it's made of plastic. So the C, I think, probably stands for share. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 
Wait, wait, wait. No, don't give yourselves a round of applause for Uig. Who the hell, who the hell do you think you are? And the, she's, the, she's, Cher's lovely. It's a joke. Cher's a national treasure. How dare you come here and crap in our house? Give me a picture of Cher. There she is. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people. <laughs> I'm getting scared. I think this audience is going to come after yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people expected Apple to announce their version of the smartwatch. You know, because Samsung's uh, smartwatch comes out in a few weeks. It's really cool. You can talk into your wrist like Dick Tracy. The trouble is, the only people that remember Dick Tracy are, are terrified of smartphones. <laughs> uh, this phone scares me. It scares me more than Flat Top Jones. <laughs> <laughs> And that was tonight's joke for senior citizens, everybody. anything Apple puts out and Samsung it really depends on which one of them is advertising on CBS the point is <laughs> who is it right now both neither one both both they're both excellent products <laughs> I love gadgets is what I'm saying do I need any more gadgets of course not I don't need any more disappointment in my life either but I come here every day don't I <laughs> no social critics say all the technology is warping our ability to focus <laughs> What was I talking about? <laughs> See, I'm, I'm kidding. I was making an ironic commentary. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, insult somebody else. <laughs> well, who? who? Who's the person that people like to see insulted right now? Uh, I don't know. Carrot Top? No, they like... Carrot Top? Yeah. People love Carrot Top. And even if they don't, I do. I can't betray my ginger friend. <laughs> you already have, Craig. I, what do you mean I, I already have? I, I haven't. I'm just making stuff up, man. All right. All right. <laughs> anyway, what was that? Oh, yeah, smartphones. I, I can't focus. <laughs> I'm not in, in a hurry to update my smartphone. I work at CBS. I'm used to being around outdated technology. <laughs> <laughs> now you're just doing for of it. I'm not going any further with this crowd. Yeah, how dare you? How people? dare you? That's it. We're going to go to a commercial for excellent products. Now, what products have we got tonight? Smartphones? <laughs> 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 You're not going to tell me, are you, in case I say anything about it? Right, all right? <laughs> you smug bastard. <laughs> What's wrong with him, man? Want to throw us a commercial? Yeah, I'd love to. Do it. You're watching The Late Late Show. If you're wondering where all the homeless went, try looking in our audience. <laughs> Just looking for roaches. Just checking. Just checking it for roaches. That really freaked me out. I, I, I'm still a I still feel like there's one on me or something. Yeah, that's, that's terrifying. It is. It's Terrif bad when you think there's uh, something on you and it's not on you. Well, it depends on what we're talking about. Well, what are you, are you talking about a dirty thing? Yeah, yeah. Are you talking about imagining having sex with someone? Yeah, yeah, sure. Or, you're not talking about having sex with a roach, are you? I've, I, listen, I've had a, a wild life. I've enjoyed things. Yeah. I think that's illegal, actually. Not in my world, it's not. <laughs> I look forward to you letting me know. Because you will, won't you? Someone out there is offended. You know, I'm trying to sit down after a hard day's work, scaring people being a roach. This is me being the roach right, now. The roach. You see what I'm doing? Yeah. Hang on, we'll do it again. When I ding the bell, I'm the roach. Okay. I'm also German. <laughs> I am a German cockroach. When I ding the bell again, what will happen? You will still be a German I, cockroach. I will still be a German cock. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't believe the noise he made. Oh! <laughs> 
Oh, like a giant big girl's vest. How did you get into his trousers? Oh, you know, I bought him dinner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Water! <laughs> yeah. What time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? It's tweet mail time, brought to you by Craig's Roach Motel. Enjoy the pocket of luxury and comfort in Craig's pants. <laughs> he checked in, but did he check out? Play the jingle. <laughs> Twitter, Twitter, tweeting, tweeting, ephemeral, ephemeral, fleeting, fleeting, blue and red. I'm sorry for smoking my pipe, everybody, but I'm hoping the smell of the tobacco will deter the roaches from climbing up my pants leg. <sighs> <laughs> oh, quick, everybody out. Oh, quick. See? It's, <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Is that you doing the voice? Yeah, do, yeah right. Yeah. Right, I'll do it again yeah. then. I'll, I'll, do, I'll be yeah, me yeah. Blowing, blowing myself. Right. Yeah, blow, you, you blow yourself, yeah. Thanks, Kundalini <laughs> Yoga. And, yeah, yeah. And you... Right. <laughs> And you, uh, right, right yeah. okay. You do the voices right, of the yeah, right. Okay. What do they sound like? <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, quick, he's blown himself. Everybody run for your lives. <laughs> wow. That was, that, what a scenario that, that was. That was great. I expect the phone will be ringing tomorrow with studios looking for the movie rights of that idea. <laughs> Yeah, we want to do a picture, see, about Craig's pants and that roach. Yeah, yeah, we're calling from the 1920s, see? <laughs> and we want to do movies back in our time about roaches living in pants, see? Yeah, it's about a wayward roach. He gets lost, you see, he's, he's on the rails, right? Right, and he finds his way home using, uh, uh, his legs. <laughs> He's got, a, he's got a Buick, you see, that he's stashed under, well, it's not really a dressing room, it's more like a, like a, like a closet of some Like a closet of yeah. some sort, yeah. Sure. <laughs> anyway, uh, shall I? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, um, this is from Marcy in uh, Manayunk in uh, America, who says, uh, Dear... <laughs> uh, Pennsylvania, I think. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dear Craig and Jeff, my boyfriend keeps looking at other women when we go out, but he says it's nothing. Do I trust him? <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> yeah, what... Why would, you, why would you send that to me? I can't even keep the roaches out of my pan! <laughs> this is from Jenny in Somerset in uh, uh, America. Yeah. Uh, it says, yeah. Dear Craig and Jeff Peterson. Well, that's very formal. Very nice. <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, I, I can't keep track. How many times do I have to hit the bell before you talk like a vampire? Well, it's one is talk like a German, two is continue to talk like a yes. German, and then three... Do I still talk like a German? Yeah, still German. Still German. Ah, uh, so let's try four. One, two, three, four. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I think it must be four. Four. One, two, three. Four. Four. Four hits on the... Ah, 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 ah. One cockroach. One, two, three, four, five, six legs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, oh, he's blowing himself again. Oh, yeah. Everybody run quick. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Spectacular, right, Jeff? Oh, yeah. Ah. Everybody get out quick. <laughs> My first guest tonight is a fantastic actress. She's uh, a voice in the Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2, which is out September the 27th. She's also in a new CBS show called Mom, which starts September the 23rd. Take a look at this. <laughs> Please welcome on your Paris, everybody. So, listen. 
first thing, I want to apologize. I want to apologize to you because I just, I just said Paris instead of Faris. I said your name. I said Paris instead of Faris. You know what? I didn't even notice. You first didn't. Of all. I, then I didn't say it. <laughs> and I also love Paris. It confuses me, but the city itself. I do love Paris too. The city. Does it confuse you? Paris does confuse me. Sometimes I think, why Paris? Why? You know what I was thinking though. Um, I was trying to get, because I know you like your name said the right way. I know, it's so dumb. It's my parents did this to me. I, it's not my fault. And I worry that people think I'm being pretentious. No, no, you're not being pretentious. Uh, you kidding me? You're on a show where the guy's got uh, cockroach yeah. stains in it. Look, it's a real thing. A cockroach did that. I wish you still had it. No, you do not. <laughs> it, it was so fr Aren't you afraid of beetles and bugs and uh, thingies? Ew. Well, if they were that big, yeah. 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 yeah they were in my pants. No, I really, I totally squealed. Yeah. I was well, like, oh! How did it get? There. Where did it come from? I don't know. I think probably the South. Yeah, the South. <laughs> yeah. I think it came up from South America somewhere. It had a kind of Latin flair about it. Uh. Yeah. Have you ever lived in New York for any length of time? A little bit. A right. Little bit. Well, you know you've seen bugs then, surely. Because yeah. I, I lived in New York, and that's the last time I saw a bug that size. Oh, uh, yeah. They're kind of fun if you see them on the street. Yeah, on the street. They crunch. <laughs> Don't you think? <laughs> They make a nice... He doesn't mean it, country. people who love cockroaches. Oh, yeah. No, I no. don't at all. I've just heard this. No, no, you, you wouldn't do that. You keep no. them and raise them as your own. <laughs> this, uh, this show uh, on CBS looks a little bit racy for CBS. I mean... Uh, yeah, I think, I think so. Yeah. It's a little racy for my parents. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I meant. Uh, it's CBS, your parents, yeah. same thing. Yeah, of course. So it's, uh, but it's about two uh, women who are mother and daughter who are both recovering alcoholics. Yep, um, both recovering addicts. Um, I, I'm raising um, two children and uh, I'm a single mom and... So this I, is still the show we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, so it's, we deal with some heavy issues. Okay, well, that's, that's, Hopefully with comedic flair. Well, <laughs> that's not entirely necessary as I found in CBS. You don't have to be that funny. <laughs> Just employ the CBS cockroach and you'll be fine. <laughs> uh, and then Cloudy with the Chance of Meatballs is awesome. I saw the first one. I oh, loved it. yeah, thank you. It's got Mr. T in it. I know. <laughs> I, it's, uh, I'm really excited to, uh, to have come back and, and, you know, do a sequel. It's good, doing, it's good doing cartoon films, isn't it? I like doing them. Yeah. Because you don't have to put clothes on uh, and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and terrible. you don't know what's going on half the time. Don't even read like, the script. No. Well, I get embarrassed because I do the, <clears throat> excuse me, I do them as well. And, and uh, when I turn up and the director says, so this is the scene where, you know, he finds out and you're like, oh, yeah. Of course. You know, in the yeah. earlier scene when that happened, I'm like, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he's happy, sad, what is he, you know. Yeah, no, in, in Cloudy, it's interesting, too, because um, we're dealing, you know, they'll be like, okay, so you're walking through a bog made of syrup. So make that noise. <laughs> <laughs> Make that noise then. Okay, I well this is I I did a few different things. Right. Uh, That's not uh, bad. You think? Yeah. Did you ever do peyote or mescaline? <laughs> of course. Well, Who hasn't? Well, right. Yeah. Maybe that's where the maybe there was no cockroach. Maybe it was just It was a flashback. It's a flashback. Oh, oh yeah. Relief. But then explain the teeth marks in my pants. Oh, that may have been me. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to do a dental match-up. <laughs> you, what an extremely small mouth you have. <laughs> no, don't, don't, don't. Because <laughs> there could be cockroach spit right there. Oh, yeah. Aren't you a germaphobe? Everyone in Hollywood's a germaphobe. No. Really? No, I'm not. But, you know, my mom, um, she was af deathly afraid of spiders and other bugs. And she, she got... She hated my day <laughs> then. <laughs> but she was given some advice she, by this older lady. She said, don't pass it on to your kids. So then as a result, my brother and I have a kind of a weird thing with bugs. You like them? <laughs> yeah. You no. like bugs? Yeah. No, that's okay. It's a little weird. I'm not crazy about huge cockroaches in my pants. <laughs> I'll admit that. <laughs> oh, you get to like it.
Oh, uh, no. Uh, we have to, uh, we have to take a break. Oh, rats. <laughs> Not rats, too. <laughs> Did you ever see any rats when you lived in New York? A couple of times, I yeah, think. Yeah, me too, yeah. There's a big boys there. Oof, gee, I remember seeing one on the 14th Street subway. He had a hat on. Uh, <laughs> She's like, hello. Morning. <laughs> Welcome. It wasn't just like a regular hat. It was a hard hat. It was a construction <laughs> rat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Do that again. Uh, wow. Uh, well, anyway, it's a commercial break. We'll be right back with... Okay. Uh, Yeah, we're back. We're back. So any real conversation can be put aside for a moment while we pretend to know each other like yeah. people in late night talk shows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <you>. Yeah. <laughs> did you see Ashton when he walked out? Oh, did I? <laughs> Seriously, have you ever seen Ashton? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I don't know if he's seen me, though. <laughs> what, is he short-sighted? I did hear that. I don't know, I don't know Yeah, no, I think, I think he's got very bad eyesight. Oh, really? I don't know, this I just made it up. Just start yeah. rumors. That's how you start rumors. Do you know what, let me tell you, by tomorrow there'll be a rumor going around Hollywood that I'm sexually attracted to cockroaches. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, there's always truth in rumors. Yeah, well, no smoke without fire, I guess. <laughs> Oh, gosh, it was horrifying. I said, I'm sorry for talking about it so much. I can't get over it. I, I got to tell you, I, I don't blame you. That really? is a pretty, that's pretty shocking. I don't yeah. know. Surprise you... in your pants? <laughs> I mean. Well, I think he may have been trying them on. Yeah. Oh, of course, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice I'm pants. like, yeah, nice try, six <laughs> legs. Yeah. How's that going to work? <laughs> Where are you making the, uh, the sitcom? Is it Warner Brothers? Yeah, we're going, uh, yeah, oh, we're over at Warner Brothers. It's lovely over there. I made the Drew Carey show there. It's lovely. Yeah, and, you know, every time I go through the gate, uh, I just remember those days, of course, when I wasn't allowed. To come on the lot. Yeah. yeah. And then there was like the full, eventually when I could get an audition, there was like the body pat down. Like, yeah. good luck. Yo, I you hate know? that. Don't you hate that? <laughs> yeah. The security guard. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, yeah. You'll end up a security guard yeah. like yeah. the rest of us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how I'm going to end up. Yeah, me too. Me like too. when you turn up at the yeah. lot to do your job, I'll be like, it's a great day for America <laughs> that you're here. <laughs> And I'll be like, I'm going to take over your shift now. <laughs> I'm signing in, Craig. Here we go. <laughs> signing out. Signing out. Our future. Well, you know. Nah, I'd be all right. Yeah. Which stage are you on? What number? Stage 20. Oh, that's the good one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's the good Have you been to that uh, commissary there? Yeah. Oh, it's awesome, isn't it? It's great commissary. you got that great chicken. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, and they have like a... Well, <laughs> They've got a whole deal. It's really, I don't know. I'm I saw Carrot Top in there once. You did? Yeah. That's a sighting. Ooh, yeah. I love, I love a Carrot Top. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't? You know, here's the thing about Carrot Top. You ever seen Carrot Top's show? Yeah, no. Right. Well, you go see it and you'll be like, you'll be like, oh, I'm not a pro. I don't like prop comedy. And then you go see Carrot Top's really show, you'll be really like, good. this is really funny. <laughs> He's really good. Prop is he's ginger, is though. Tough. Ginger. Yeah. yeah. Well. So he's got those ginger freckles. Yeah. That's where gingers keep the souls of their victims. <laughs> In their freckles. Do they murder people? Oh, I'm not saying they do or they don't. <laughs> Another rumor. Going out there. <laughs> <laughs> Going out there. Along with me being sexually attracted to bogs. Yeah. <laughs> Bogs. I said bogs in a very odd way there. <laughs> bogs. I think the cockroach in my pants moved and I went bogs. bogs. Like <laughs> anyway, we're out of time. Do you, uh, what do you find? Uh, awkward pause, perhaps? Or a uh, fake argument? You want to twerk with a horse? How do you want to get out I, of here? I like the, I, either therapist or awkward pause. Will you choose? Yeah, let's do a quick therapy. Okay, great. Okay. I'm nervous, though. It's your mother. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, Dr. You know, I think why I'm so messed up is because my parents' goal in life was to keep me a virgin forever. Is this real? <laughs> <laughs> it is weird. Oh, no, it's over right back. Hey,
Ernest is a filmmaker and an explorer. He's also French. Um, <laughs> take a look at this. Wow. Jean-Michel Cousteau, everybody. Monsieur Cousteau, how lovely to see you again. <laughs> I'll pick it up afterwards. Don't go all Greenpeace on me, it's fine. <laughs> hey, that suit, that underwater suit, that looks kind of cool. You get a bug in there, you're in trouble. There's no cockroaches in my suit, okay? <laughs> Unlike you. I didn't get a word of that. What did he say? <laughs> I said... What you... I... What do you mean? There's, there might be a cockroach. There's cockroaches on board ships, isn't there? Yes. <laughs> Therefore, could not a cockroach travel from its place of residence on the ship to the inside of that suit and then surprise you at depth? Only if you come. <laughs> That probably sounded a little bit different. The look. Well, only if I if I if I was there, there would be a cockroach in the suit. But if I was not there, then there would be no cockroach. Are you saying I'm some kind of cockroach typhoid Mary or something? Well, I have challenged you a number of times to yes. come and join us to go underwater. Yes, I know. So you can see that underwater. If you're not in that suit that you just saw, yes. there are cockroaches there. Yeah, big giant underwater cockroaches that bite your junk clean off. No. <laughs> no, 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 they're friends. Everything... Friends with each other, not necessarily with you. Well, it depends. It depends if you are on their side or if you have a problem with it. You know, the problem... Uh, I saw you introduce me and you say, French. Well, I, I did. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Scottish. Yay! You're shaving me. All right. So, tell me about that suit because that suit does look very impressive. Is that a new thing? That clearly is. I've never seen anything like that before. It's like transformers under the water or something. I've been since my father pushed me overboard with a tank on my back. 76 years ago, 78 years ago. Good Lord. Okay. I've been frustrated that I cannot go deeper than 300 feet. I cannot stay long because I have to decompress, very complicated. We don't know what's happening below that. We have no idea what our life support system uh, represents. That is the exosuit that allows us now to go from the surface down to a thousand feet in five minutes, spend 10 hours down there. Good grief, really? Explore, pick up samples with scientists uh, and understand what's out there. Thousands of new species have you are been to be discovered. I just got certified. So have you been that low yet? No. Right. But I will yes, soon I believe you. Yeah. on the East Coast because the equipment has been moved out there after we got our is there certification. A, is there a landline? From no, the no, no, no. You're disconnected. Totally disconnected. Wow. You can be powered with your right foot. You can go forward, backwards, left, right. With your le uh, left foot, you can go up and down. This sounds better than just not having a suit on and walking around on the surface. Well, you can move like I'm moving. You like just move like that and the arms go I no, want no, one of these. There's no ah. <laughs> Don't you don't you go in your head? Like don't you go, oh, here I come, no, I am Gusto. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take you there. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, but I, I, is, do I have to get certified in the suit? I'm yes. a certified diver. I mean, I've been certified. Yeah, I know, but you have chickened away from diving with me right here because there are great white sharks. Yeah, wait. 
I don't think the audience quite heard the last part of what you said when he said, because of the great white shark! <laughs> That's right. I, so. I... I don't... I understand... I understand these are beautiful creatures with their own agenda. That's right. However, whether it's personal or not, I feel they may eat me. <laughs> If you tell them ahead of time, I'm from Scotland. <laughs> yes. They won't. They won't touch you. And, but you have to trust me. I trust you. I trust you. Implicitly. Okay, let's do it then. All right then. Can I have one of those big suits? No. <laughs> well, can I have a cage then? If you're chicken, yes, you can have a cage. Oh, oh, excuse, excuse me a minute, sir, if you would, please. Shut up! Um, <laughs> I, uh, I am very excited about this suit, though. That does look like, it's a, like a huge It's one of the thing. most exciting things that uh, has happened in my life. I honor my father for having taken us down to 300 feet. Right. And I honor... Phil Newton, who is the inventor of that suit, who is going to allow us to understand what's going changer. on yeah. deeper. Yeah, it's and, fascinating. Uh, he's a Canadian guy. He is, lives in uh, Vancouver. And uh, I'll tell you, uh, it's a very, very exciting time in my life. It is. Uh, well, I tell you what, um, why don't you go and take some footage of uh, you know, the stuff at 1,000 feet and then bring it back and I'll mock it? I will. All right. <laughs> I will, but, you know, we have a deal. You and I, we have a deal. Okay, okay. Well, I don't want to dive with great white sharks, though. I can't do it. I don't want to do it. I... <laughs> <laughs> I went diving in with sharks in the Bahamas. I don't like diving with sharks. Sharks are aggressive predators of the deep. Uh, can't we dive with something like, you know, uh, underwater sheep or something? <laughs> I, I don't know what to do with you now. You're scared of cockroaches? <laughs> it was in my pants, Jean-Michel. My pants! We made a deal, you and I. We're going to go diving. All right, let's go diving then. Okay. We were right back. I'm sorry I'm standing so close to the fire. I'm trying to smoke out the roaches. Oh, is that right? Well, I think I can hear them. <laughs> really? What are they saying? Oh, hey, trying to smoke us out. Everybody, quick, grab your stuff. Just get yeah, it. Come on. Quick. <laughs> uh, wow. This has been another quality product brought to you by the Columbia Broadcasting System.